Hello everyone, it's Maria here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, today I'm going to be doing a very simple project. But before we start, I just wanted to apologise for not doing a video last week. Um, basically, I have both children off on holidays at the moment and life just gets in the way. So I had one of my oldest um, sick with a sinusitis infection so yeah we just do a lot of running around with that and getting that all sorted out she is getting better with a change of antibiotics and hopefully this will be the end of it so I'm going to see the doctor today and see how that goes and um, yeah just busy with life so unfortunately unable to do a video but um, today I am going to be showing you a project that's very simple to do and it doesn't take up a lot of time and basically, as I've been time poor these past couple of weeks, um, this kind of design will help you out. And it is quite nice as well. So it's a no stamping card. Very simple. So I'm using the Thank You Thinlets dies. The Thank You Thinlet die. So it's just the one die. Very good size. And that can be used as a focal image, which is what it will be. I'm using the stitch shape framelits and I'm using the largest of the circles. And I'm using the Pattern Party Decorative Mask and I'm going to be using the diamond shape of that. I quite like this and I'm going to do some ink blending using my makeup brushes. Um, I love this, uh, very similar to the Picket Fence brush and it has a nice um, flexible handle. Um, this is makeup brushes so they're very cheap but I feel they're very, this, you know, they're very much this, exactly the same as the picket fence brush brushes which are quite expensive. I've had no issues with this shedding at all and I've been using them quite vigorously. So yeah, I think these are phenomenal. I love this for ink blending. And the colors we're using today are Blackberry Bliss, Rich Razzleberry and Blushing Bright, just for something a little different. So we'll get started. Um, I'm using a oh, Whisper White Thick Card Base. This is four across by eight inches. So I'm just going to fold my card base in half and I'm going to burnish that score line. I have some scrap pieces here of Whisper White cardstock and I also have a four by four piece which will go over the top but it will be trimmed down. Uh, also, I've got a piece of Blackberry Bliss card stock. This will be used for our die, the thank you die. So that's just enough for that die. So we'll get started with the 4x4 piece here. I'm going to bring in my craft sheet, which is a nice non-stick sheet. And I'm going to bring in my 4x4 piece. And I'm just going to... I've just got all these pieces here just stuck on here but um, I'm going to stick on some, try not to take up too much room on the side but just got a couple of pieces of painters tape and we'll just stick it down to the craft sheet or on your surface whatever you would like to do. Then I've got the diamond shaped um, pattern party stencil or mask and I'm just going to put that on here square it on and then I'm going to also stick that down okay so I'm going to start off with my lightest which is blushing bride I'm just going to get some ink on here, tap off and just start inking very, very um, lightly. Okay, then I think that's enough with my Blushing Bride. I'm just going to show you this in real time. I like to wipe off so I don't cross contaminate colours. And then I'll just wipe with my microfiber cloth. Very, very easy. The next colour I'm going to bring is in Rich Razzleberry. Just get that colour on. I'm going to tap off a little bit here. And then I'll just go from here. 
and then I'll go over also the Blushing Bride colour. And you don't have to go hard, you can go quite light. Just go a little bit more. And yeah, this doesn't take long at all. Okay, so take the Rich Razzleberry away and wipe that down. Just wipe off my brush. So you can have one brush per, you know, for all of your colours. So I'm just making sure I'm wiping that all off until there is nothing left. See, and that looks great. Okay, so make sure that's all off. Then I'm going to go Blackberry Bliss. Just tap a little bit, just over here, and and I'll just go over that. And then I'm going to make my Blackberry Bliss a little darker. Okay. Now I'll take that off. And that's the colour. It looks really nice. I haven't used like purple based colours for a very long time so I was quite happy to do that. Now I'm just going to put my stickies away. So that's it with my colours. So I'm just going to take that away for a second and I'll just wipe down my craft sheet. I'll bring in my mat, my mask, sorry my stencil and just give that a good wipe. And just clean that all up. See, nice and simple. So this is in real time, so you see what you're going to be, you know, doing yourselves. So I'll just take that away to dry and put this to the side as well. And in the meantime, I better clean my brush before I forget. So it just wipes right off. And even if this is stained, it doesn't come back onto the brush, which is fantastic. So make sure I give it a good, good clean. And if you find it that it's not clean, um, you can always wash it with some gentle soap and some warm water and that'll get rid of it. So these are plastic, so they don't really um, take up, and I'm just wiping it on my hand and there's no colour coming off, so it's really good. So that's clean, done, finished. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to trim half an inch on each, uh, sorry, a quarter of an inch on each side. So I'll just go to the quarter mark here and give that a little trim on that side. Oops. And then a little bit more from this side. So that's a quarter there. This will then layer on, we'll make it then it'll be three and, hang on, three and a quarter by three and a quarter in the end, or three, this is four, so I want it to be three and a half by three and a half. So let's measure this out, see if I can trim that a bit more. So I can take that off there, so make that three and a half, and then make that three and a half. So just trim that down. So I'll give it a half inch. So there we go. So that's now three and a half by three and a half. So it looks nice and even on all sides. So I'm going to turn around this way. All right, so now I'm going to bring up my Big Shot and we're going to do some die cutting. So I'm using my Big Shot platform with the thin die adapter and a cutting plate. Just see which one's my flatter one now, it's this one here. All right, that's the top one. I'll do this one this way, yep. Yeah. All right, so, oops, I've got my Thank You Thinlet 
going to cut that there. Then I'm going to get a piece of um, white cardstock. So where is that? Did I move it off somehow? Mm -hmm. Just bear with me for one second. Okay, so I just misplaced my Whisper White piece of cardstock, which, um, yeah, it was just underneath something as it normally is. Anyway, and I didn't see it, so I didn't want to waste your time with me looking for it. So I'm going to get the largest circle here, put that up here. I'm going to cut these two at the same time. And because that's kind of an intricate die, I'm going to go pass it through again. So that's that. And the circle's all cut out. I love that stitch shape. I'm going to leave this on here. And with this one, I'm going to get my die brush and just go over the top and just eject out the die and all the little bits and pieces. I'll just do it on my hand. I find it's just easier. So that's the thank you in Blackberry Bliss. So now I'm going to die cut it again in Whisper White because I'm going to layer the thank you die so it's um, got a bit of height. And I'm going to stagger it. So I'm just going to now go over the top again. Oops, I think my camera has moved. <laughs> so sorry about that let's do that yeah okay okay so get rid of that again get my dye brush and I've got one more to go so that's the thank you there there's a piece that didn't come out and then I have one more piece And we're going to put that through twice as well. And again. Sorry, it's making my camera move this time. And I'll move it again. All right. So now we are done with the die cutting. move my camera there that's where better all right so we're finished with the die cutting so as I said this is a no stamping card designs nice and easy and you will love how quick it goes through seriously it doesn't take long at all all right so I'm just going to eject that get rid of that whoops and there's the thank you so I've done um, a I've cut a total of three die cuts with the thank yous die cut there. I've got my card there, burnish that a bit more so it sits nicely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glue and I'm going to stick the two thank yous, the white thank yous together. So I'll just pop some glue there. Just dot some glue. Okay, so I'll just put these directly over the top of each other. This just gives the die as well um, some strength, which which I like, and it makes it more substantial too. So it's kind of like a thick, um, thick piece. like chipboard that's the word I was looking for chipboard <laughs> all right so now I'm going to grab my thank you um, the blackberry bliss one and I'm just going to stick some glue in all the strategic places and 
and you can go crazy with the colour combinations that you can do with this. I quite like this. I've done it in blue and it looks lovely. So anyway, now that we've got the Blackberry Bliss on top of that, I'm going to stagger it a little. Just slightly off. So only just ever so slightly off. So luckily with um, liquid glue, you have the chance to kind of uh, work with it a little. And as you can see, the thank you has the white peeking at the back of it. And I think it looks lovely. So it just gives that a bit of a height. So as you can see, it's got that height. Quite like that. So anyway, now to start putting this together. So I've got my card base back. I've got this piece back. And I'm going to stick some glue onto it. Can use whichever adhesive you would like. It's just really, really simple. Okay, so it has a nice border. Okay, so there we go. There, then we've got our white piece of um, our stitch shape circle, and we're going to have that thank you just going over the top of that. So what I'll do is I'll stick the thank you on top and then we'll pop this up on dimensionals. So just put the thank you on there. Actually, I, like, I won't put on dimensionals because this will be going through the mail and because it's a little bit thick, I'll leave the dimensionals off. So anyway, I'm just going to put the thank you at an angle. So it looks like that. And then I'm just going to just put some glue just in the middle um, and nowhere else because I just want it to have a little bit of a lift without um, it being completely stuck down. So I don't know why my glue's clogged up. Hmm, highly unusual. Just bear with me for one second. I've unclogged my glue. Now I can put some in the middle. Come down. There we go. Let's see now. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Why? Anyway. I think I've got some glue there anyway, so I'll just put it on here <laughs> and just stick that down just in the middle. And that is my finished card. <laughs> Sorry about my little um, dramas here and there, but I think that turned out quite lovely and that's how it looks on the side. So there is a bit of a lift without it being completely stuck down the middle and it's flat enough for you to mail away so it won't cost you the earth to mail and it's a great size on the inside you can write your sentiment or you can even grab your, your stencil and just do a little bit of a, a pattern there actually yeah but I'm not going to do that I'm going to leave it blank so um, that's my card for today I hope you liked it um, it's very different I really do enjoy using my makeup brushes as um, a blending tool and I have to admit it's seamless if you have a look close up it's seamless if you don't have makeup brushes don't fear you can also use your sponge daubers you can use your um, sponges and um, you can also use a brayer too um, I just prefer using my makeup brushes because I've got a lot more control with it but it's up to you how you want to use it so if you're interested in purchasing any of these products you may do so through my online store at peppleyrose.stampinup.net I've I don't know how many times I've used these stitch shape framelits but they are wonderful and they're a pretty good size for a card base um, and I love the thank you thinlet die. This makes it super easy. Love it. Simple. And you can't go wrong with stencils as well. These, these are great. The Pattern Party decorative masks. They're wonderful. You get clouds. If you haven't seen these before, you get a brick wall. These are great. You get the clouds. This is one of my favourite ones. And you also get like this Medalla 
pattern here as well. So um, yeah, these these are fantastic and they're good all rounders. So yeah, I quite like these stencils. If you've got other stencils to knock yourself out with the patterns, you know, you can go crazy with them. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. And as I said before, leave a comment if you have any questions or you can contact me through my online store at pepplyrose.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye.